Hi, my name is Ajane, and I was interested in a few recent celebrity legal issues. So I'm here to talk to a few attorneys here at Cape Fear Family Law to discuss those topics. Today we are sitting with attorney Jessica Arthur asking her a few questions regarding a few topics. The ongoing case of conservatorship regarding former pop star Britney Spears and her father has taken the world by storm. From her mental health scares in 2008, legal issues, and public breakdown, Britney Spears is the new hot topic. This problem has turned a negative spotlight on conservatorship after the 13-year agreement with her father ultimately turned sour. In a heartwarming plea to LA Superior Court judge, Spears requested to end the long-running conservatorship, saying she is exploited, can't sleep, is depressed, and cries every day. What exactly is conservatorship or guardianship? And what could have taken place to make her or someone like her qualify for this type of agreement? <laughs> Free Brittany, y'all. Okay, so in North Carolina, we don't have conservatorship. What we have is guardianship. Guardianship is a very controlling environment, but you have to meet a very clear criteria to be granted a guardian. Basically, you don't have the ability to make decisions for yourself. Not that you would make poor decisions because you have the right to make poor decisions. We all have the right to make poor decisions, but you don't have the ability to make decisions for yourself or you're able to be taken advantage of by, you know, the people calling on the phone, trying to get your money, trying to say, oh, if you send me $200, I'll make sure you get 2000 the people that, that, that would be sucked in by that, the people that don't have the ability to make a decision on who they want to vote for, the people who don't have the ability to run their own finances at all, that's what guardianship is intended for. It's not for someone that you disagree how they spend their money, it's not for someone that you disagree on their life choices, unless their life choices are truly harming them and they're not able to function, that's guardianship. Again, I don't know conservatorship, but if she was in North Carolina, I can't imagine that her daddy could have gotten guardianship over her. When do you think a conservatorship is positive for an individual? So again, we do guardianship here. I think it can be very, very positive. Again, if we're talking about someone who could be easily taken advantage of or doesn't understand even how to truly use their money effectively, someone to step in and do that, make decisions for them, make sure that they're safe, make sure that they can get the treatment they need, make sure that all of their bills are paid and they have a roof over their head, it could be a wonderful thing. If the person's not able to do it themselves, just having mental health issues does not line you up for guardianship. It might line you up for even, at most, maybe a limited guardianship, but not what we're hearing about in the news that Brittany's dealing with. What qualifies someone to be able to declare guardianship over another individual? So what qualifies someone to be a guardian in North Carolina is they have to be an adult, be able to act in the guardian's best interest. We can actually have corporations or trustees step in. We can have the state Department of Social Services step in and be guardian over the person or the estate. So in North Carolina, we have two types of guardianship. Well, technically three. We have guardian of the person, guardian of the state, and a general guardian, which just covers both of them. Any of those can be done by an adult person that could act in the person's best interest who are getting guardianship over, or a corporation, trustee. As far as her dad, clearly I think he, maybe not at the beginning, but now definitely has a conflict of interest because it sounds like he's getting major payout from what she's doing, mm -hmm. and he's treating her like an indentured servant. Mm -hmm. So I think this is growing into, at least from what we're seeing in the media, and you always know the media, it's, we're not 100% sure what's true and not, but what we're seeing in the media is he's making huge financial gains off Brittany. And I understand he's saying, well, I'm making sure she gets huge financial gains too. Okay, great, but that still doesn't change the fact that she doesn't have the ability to have any say in this. So I think clearly he has a conflict of interest right now. Clearly this is not what she wants to do. I think arguably it's definitely not in her best interest if it's affecting her mental health negatively mm -hmm. because the whole reason he got it, right, is because she was having mental health issues. Right. And now he's negatively impacting her mental health. How are we gonna say he's acting as an appropriate guardian? That's a great point. Do guardians normally get to profit off of the guardianship? So guardians should get paid on some extent for their time, but they should not be making exorbitant profit at all. You're not allowed to make major profit because otherwise then you have this major conflict, mm -hmm. right? Like you're making all this profit, of course you're going to keep making the person you're guardian over 
keep doing whatever they're doing, whether it's in their best interest or not. So no, you're allowed to make a certain amount of profit, but again, you have to submit a sheet to the local county clerk every year. This is not something you get to do every five years. I think every year you have to submit this. If you don't submit it on time, you can be removed as the guardian. They can take other steps against you. So they keep an eye on it and you're not supposed to be raking in the dough like Mr. Spears is. Clearly, I think that's a huge conflict. I know that there are a lot of different opinions on this situation with her, and I see that you are pro Brittany. Um, do you have any personal advice that you would give to her? As far as Brittany girl, please, please, please just keep doing what you're doing. Keep speaking out as you're able to. Make sure you're talking to your attorneys. Let them do their job and protect you, and you need to, as soon as you're free, do whatever you want, girl. Don't let anyone ever tell you what to do again. Yes, I <laughs> love that. That was great advice. Thank you so much for sitting down and talking with me. Hopefully, Brittany will come by this video and take up on your advice. It's been my pleasure. <laughs>